I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious developers just like you and me. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life in all circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions, especially with the uncertain times that we're all living in today. Skillshare is a perfect way for you to brush up on technical skills that you can use to secure your future as aspiring developer. One of the classes that I'm particularly interested in is the hand coding your first website HTML and CSS basics original by Rich Armstrong. And I think this is perfect for building that basic foundation that you need to help you move on to JavaScript and building your own websites on your own. The first 1000 people to click on the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoy the rest of this video. What is up YouTube? Welcome to another video. Yo, the last two videos have been insane. Two videos ago, <laughs> I posted about how it went from making $30,000 a year to close to $300,000 a year. You could go ahead, I'll put the link in the description below if you wanna check it out. And in the video prior to that, my last one, in this video, I literally just share a clip from my Twitch highlights. I'm a streamer, I'm a full-time streamer on Twitch. If you wanna check it out, I'll put that in the link as well. But in that video, I spoke about imposter syndrome and how it causes people to be stuck in tutorial hell. And I'm telling you this, everyone, you do not want to be in that. So I'll put all these links in the description below if you want to check it out. But today, something I'm very passionate about. Today, I want to talk about something in regards to if I had to start over again. I've been a developer for almost five years now. I feel like I'm I, I, I'm not at the peak of my career, but wow, I'm reaching it. I'm, I'm reaching close to the peak of my career. And hopefully not. <laughs> but I feel like I am, right? And I want to make a video for all of you in regards to if I was to start learning code all over again. If I was to start over today. Like what is today's date? Um, let me look at my computer. Today's March 12th. If I was to start over today in March, 2021, how would I become a developer again? How would I learn code this time around? What would I do differently than when I was a developer a couple years ago? Now, as you know, I've been writing code professionally for close to half a decade now, and I have learned from a lot of mistakes. I'm still making mistakes. I'm trying to learn from them. But as someone who's also pretty much made a career of inspiring people around the world and guiding people one at a time into the industry, yo, I'm gonna tell you this. I know what it takes to get in it. I know what it takes to become a developer. Every single person that I've mentored, like that I've, I've actually committed to, Every person so far, except the one person I'm mentoring right now, who I'm mentoring to get into injury right now, every person I personally did a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with has become a developer. Every single person. Now, it's not that there's like a secret recipe to this. It's not that my ideas, my thoughts, the way I process things, the way I see things when it comes to learning how to become a developer, it's not that my way is better than everyone else. But I think more than anything, before I tell you how I would start over, more than anything, it's about persistence and never giving up. I want to say this, chat. <laughs> I'm not talking to chat. I'm talking to YouTube. I'm so used to streaming now. That 100% of the people who never give up in becoming a developer in America, right, will become a developer. But, and the same thing goes with where 100% of the people that give up, guess what? They will never become a developer themselves. These people will never become a developer themselves. It is really about persistence. Now, there are things you need to take into account. If you live in America, it helps to be able to speak English, right? It really does. It helps to know some basic math. It helps if you know how to read. Why? Because as a developer, a lot of things that require us to do comes with reading. Honestly, a lot of the bugs that I create on my own are simply because I spell things incorrectly because my grammar, my vocabulary sucks in general. So that kind of holds me back a little bit, myself at least, okay? <laughs> that happens to me. So of course there are particular requirements you need. Yeah, you need to know how to read, you know how to, need to know how to write, you need know some basic math. You have to have some logic, that's true. But aside from that, as long as you have that persistence, you can make it. So let's get in this right now. If I was to start over today, Hey, what would I do differently than what I did five years ago? I want you to also note before I dive into this, I did not plan exactly what I would speak about. I did not outline my plan and how I would do it, but this is generally just from my experience in mentoring people today. Okay, so number one, <laughs> I know this to go against my last video, but honestly, I would get a basic tutorial. I think when it comes to code, you do not need to go to college, right? Maybe it depends on what you want to do. 
right? It depends on what kind of code you want to write. But generally speaking, you do not need to go to college to become a developer, to work for Facebook, to work for Google, to work for Netflix, all these different companies. Because I know a lot of self-taught developers that work at all these companies who never went to college or don't even have a degree in anything in regards to software, right? But the first thing I would do is that I would find a really good course a place where I can learn code, just the basic stuff. So for me, I would want to be a front-end developer. I like front-end development. I want to be front-end developers. So the courses I would look for or anything in regards to learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, anything like that whatsoever. Now, I personally like Treehouse. I would go to Treehouse. I'm mentoring my brother right now. He's going through Treehouse at this very moment. He studies three hours a day. If he wants to live with me for free, that's what he has to do. <laughs> so he's going through Treehouse. So I would do the exact same thing. I would go to tre Treehouse course and I would finish that course. Like the goal is buy one course. That's good. That's recommended by a lot of people. Finish that, go through everything and then never go through a, a tutorial on HTML, CSS and JavaScript ever again. <laughs> That is my idea of someone that can learn code very quickly. I would go through that basic course, learn basic HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now, aside from that, what I would do next. Okay, let me give you a time frame. I would spend about maybe mm, because this would be my first time learning code. I would spend about three months in that HTML, CSS and JavaScript, go through that and then build whatever projects they want me to build on there. And then after I finish that tutorial, what I would do after that is okay, I learned all the stuff. But now let's say I'm mentoring myself like Chris. All right, that's good. You went through those courses. I'm testing you and making sure you understand and you retain what you learned. If you didn't, then you start building stuff, right? But I would mentor myself telling me these exact same things. And I would tell myself, Chris, now what I want you to do is build a landing. That landing page that you built for Treehouse that they asked you to build. Now I want you to rebuild that same landing page, but not using any of the videos that you use. Now just use Google and Stack Overflow. Maybe you need to watch a five minute video on how to build a nav bar. That's totally fine. But don't go back to that Treehouse tutorial. Go to YouTube to figure out how to build that stuff. Maybe need to remember how to write a click function to write a for loop for something. But the goal is when you build something now rebuild that exact same thing. But this time do not use that tutorial. Now build that same thing just using Google and things that you, you remember because that is essentially what a developer does. Literally, no matter what new company you go to, no matter what your job is, you will not remember everything you learned in school or from your last job. There are a lot of times when I was working at a company that I would look at code I made months ago to build something I need to build again today. So that's what you need to do. Rebuild that, but now using Google because that's what a developer does. Use Google if you don't remember something. Use Google if you don't know how to build something. Use Google for everything, okay? Stack Overflow, whatever. Go in a disk Discord. Join my Discord. <laughs> Ask questions there. That's why I have my Discord there. So that is what I would do. First, you just build something as simple as that. Now, what I would do next is that after building this basic landing page, my next goal is, okay, I built that landing page. Now, as a front end developer, one thing we have to be good at, and this is essential, making things mobile friendly. So that exact landing page that I made, copying whatever Treehouse made, whatever design they had, implement the same design using my code this time instead of what they told me. Then next, what I will do is I will make that website mobile friendly. I'll make sure it looks good in the iPad, make sure it looks good on desktop. I need, I need to make sure that it looks good on your mobile device. It looks good on a big phone, on an iPhone 5 mini or whatever, right? Whatever phones they have now. The smallest phones out there. Make sure it looks good on the Android. Make sure it looks good on Safari. Make sure it looks good on Chrome. Make sure it looks good on my Zia Firefox, all these different browsers, because this is what a front end developer does. And if you're able to do all this, and, and it sounds like a lot, but it's not as much as you think. But when you're able to do this one thing and put up that much effort, to be that much more detailed and building just a landing page. I'm gonna tell you this, if you apply this tactic when learning code, you will be 10 to 20 times better than any person going to Treehouse for the first time, learning code for the first time. Let's say if you were to stack yourself against 100 other people learning code at the same pace as you, but then you apply these tactics, th this guide that I'm telling you to do, I'm gonna tell you, because you're applying these different things, you're gonna learn more things than all those people who went through all the Treehouse courses. Because there's a difference for someone that went through just a course, a tutorial, than someone who went through that tutorial and immediately tried to apply what they learned to do that. That is very important. So that's what I would do, personally. Secondly, after I build that landing page, I'm gonna push it live. I'm gonna put it on my portfolio. I'm gonna buy realchristian.com, which I bought, so none of you can buy that. Put that website on there and just say, this was my first website. Your portfolio does not look, have to look amazing at all whatsoever. Then after that, what I would do next, I would look at what is demand in my area. Now, React.js is in demand everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. I feel like learning React.js is the way to get a job in the industry, the way to get your foot in the door as soon as possible, right? But one thing to note that I realized not too long ago, I mean, I did realize this, but it is more important now than ever, is that you have to look at what's in demand in your area too. Like is Angular in demand in your area? Is Vue.js in demand in your area? Is it React.js? Is it Svelte.js? Is it learning SAS less? Is it Tailwind? Do you need to learn a little bit of PHP? So we'll go on to that a little bit later. 
but you need to research what's in your area. But one thing about the world we live in today is that almost everyone in this industry works remote. Not everyone, but a lot more than before, a lot more. My job I got laid off from remote work. The job I got after that, remote work. There was a company that didn't want me to work remote. I said, no, thank you. Then I got a better job, right? Now my new job, I'm a new developer relations engineer for a new relic. My job is just make YouTube videos and stream on Twitch. That's why I'm a full-time Twitch streamer. So check out the link in the description below. I appreciate it. So all these new positions are out today or current positions are remote. So now I feel like now more than ever is a time to really dive into this career as a developer because you have more access to more positions in the world today simply because everyone's remote now you're not just stuck to your city if you live in the middle of nowhere guess what you can get a job in silicon valley you could get a job in new york in florida wherever these tech bubbles are you could get a job in another country because everyone's remote now and everyone's learning how to work remote and manage a company while working remote so guess what now you have an advantage that i didn't even have five years ago where now you can get a job anywhere as long as you're willing to put in the hard work so again anyway again what i would do is look at what framework like js library to learn i would personally learn react yes because the jobs out there the opportunities are insane everywhere even if it's not popular in your city maybe you want to work in a building then yeah then look for whatever framework's popular in your city that's what i would do next i would go through a react yes cook tutorial course now my goal is i do not want to be tutorial hell that is very important that you do not do that right like i said in my last video so i would go through a tutorial in react yes go through that tutorial learn it once and then again i would do the exact same thing which is build something in react js maybe there was a product they had in there or now oh you no know this would be a good idea the page the website i built in html css and javascript from treehouse now i would rebuild that same thing in react js oh that's a good idea and maybe i'll add some different functionality but this time when i'm done learning through that tutorial i would spend a month on this tutorial maybe less hopefully two to three weeks right what i would do is that yes i would go to that tutorial never go back to it but then again use google and documentation and stack overflow to build this website in react js you will get stuck you will get frustrated that's totally fine that's part of being a developer what developer who is working in the industry today does not get frustrated writing code not one person that i know of it is always frustrating even if you've been coding for a long time because there are just things that you just problems come up and you don't know how to solve it so you have to figure it out that is exactly what i would do now to help me get a job in the streets faster right after this i would potentially like maybe i would look for a designer to look at my website like hey i need to make this website look better i would hire a ui ux designer to build my website make it look more beautiful because the better your website looks the more attractive your resume looks right your skill set showing that okay this person has some talent so that's very important but anyway aside from that but what i would do after that to be honest, is start applying to jobs. That's it. And while I'm applying to jobs, rather than waiting for the time that I think that I'm a really good developer, because that will never happen, rather waiting for when I'll be a, a really good developer, because you won't until you're experienced in the industry. While I'm now developing my skill on top of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React.js, learning maybe new languages like PHP or learning SQL or and learning to be better at the, the terminal, right? Uh, how to commit things to GitHub and etc. These different things. What I would do right after learning React.js and building that website in React, start applying to jobs, literally. After four months of coding, start applying to jobs because after, if you apply what I'm telling you to apply right now, your skill set, the way that you'll be able to explain how you wrote your code better than anyone else, just going through tutorials and not trying to build something right after learning something, you'll be able to explain your project so much better. You'll be able to explain the things that you build better than the average person because you put in that much more effort in those small details. That's what I would do now. One thing, I think is the most important part out of everything I just said, the most important thing that I think everyone needs to do is document your journey. Please believe me when I say this, every person that I know that's documented a journey while learning code that I personally know, okay, who's documented a journey while learning code, got a job a lot easier than everyone else. The people I know that got a job, they applied, but the, like they applied some positions. Some people didn't even have to apply to these positions. But the reason that people found out who these aspiring developers are is because they posted a journey on Twitter, the journey on Instagram, on TikTok. Why? Because that shows your passion for code, does it not? The fact that you're explaining your journey by detail on a daily, if not every other day, if not weekly basis, you're sharing with the world what you're learning, what you've learned from your mistake, what mistakes you're learning from. Companies that are hiring will see that stuff. They're like, all right, I get to see more of this person's personality. I know my friend, Lee Ann, she got a job. The one of the reasons that helped her get this job in the first place is because she documented a journey. She's a mom of two. Okay. She's married. She's 32 years old. She's a year younger than me. So I'm like a little old. <laughs> 
But after just five months of learning code, mentoring her, man, my other friend helping mentoring her as well in React.js and all this different stuff because I'm not good at React.js yet. She got a job in five months. Chow Codes. Yo, he got a job in one year. I'm telling you this, man. He made more than double what I earned as a junior developer. His job that he's working at right now pays him bang than what I earned four to five years ago as a junior developer. And they found him through social media. It's just easier that way because that gives them a way to see who you are as a person. I promise you it will help you so much, everyone. There's so much more I can talk about, but I don't want to make this as detailed. If you want to really see a really detailed example, you can check out my other video on how I, be, I would become a developer in six months, but you can check that out. I'm not going to go too much in detail, but that's what I would do differently this time around html css javascript go through a course whether if it's treehouse or whatever whatever you want to do and then again what you learn at a course but rebuild it using google stack overflow whatever and then i'll move on to react js and whatever after i finish that tutorial in react js and the goal is to finish as quickly as possible because you'll never retain anything anyway although your goal is to make sure you understand what you're learning i will rebuild what i learned from treehouse that landing page and rebuild that in react js then I would hire a designer to help build a nice design for the portfolio I have to make it look better, make it look like it's my own. Now, if you need a designer, you can hit me up. I know one. And yeah, that's what I would do differently, everyone. That's what I would do today. And I can guarantee that by doing this, I would get a job in six to nine months tops. If I was to start again today, I know that that would happen. Anyway, I hope you all like this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to respond to every single comment as soon as I can. Um, and if you can, though, everyone, it will really help me a lot if you could like this video. And one thing I want to talk about before I end this video is that I am streaming three times a week, but two times a day, every morning, every evening on Twitch. That is my full-time job. I'm a full-time content creator, full-time YouTuber, full-time streamer. So if you want to check me out, I'll put the link to my Twitch below. And I'd really appreciate if any of y'all would say hello. I love you all. Thanks for watching. This is Krishan. This is Life of Developer. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.